The Toyota BZ4X has a problem. And the problem is charging in the cold, believe it or not. Now, customers are not going to be too happy about this. But back in November, Toyota unveiled the BZ4X. Now, the company first fully electric vehicle since the California-only RAV4 EV was discontinued back in 2014, if you can remember that. Now, Toyota makes some awesome, reliable vehicles. I'm definitely a fan of Toyota and all their vehicles. I think they're just fantastic. But of course, there's always snafus to work out on the road to success. Beautiful styling, apparently a price point makes this awesome. Now, this is um, going to be what they call a real smart purchase. EVs is the way to go. An EV tax credit, of course, we all know is definitely drying up. But this electric newcomer is facing some challenges. The BC4X doesn't like cold weather. Now, Toyota admits that the DC charging times increase in temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I remember back in the past, there was always a problem with EVs in the winter, especially during the winter testing. But they're working out this snafu. And I'm sure Toyota's going to come to some kind of um, solution for this. But again, this is quite bizarre. Below 32 degrees, not working properly. It's interesting, but how are they going to be able to overcome this? Now, the ability to top this battery up to 80% in around an hour. It's something fantastic and some fantastic news. Now for many, charging is already one of the downsides of owning an EV. The DC charging should at least bring it, bring in some convenience. Conditional use, of course, depends what weather, depends if it's icy cold, what climate you live in. If you live in cold climates, such as Wisconsin or someplace like that, I mean, when, it's, when the winters are here, of course, now is summertime. So you're not going to have those issues, but I'm sure there has to be an attack plan. Now, Kia has the EV6, which is competent and matches the Toyota on the range as far as the EPA data, 232 miles, 217 miles when plugged into a fast charger. The BZ4X front wheel drive, of course, 252 range. But how does the Kia does when it's cold. I haven't heard any issues with the with the uh, Kia. So that's going to be against Toyota. But there are some great positive attributes to the BZ4X. The technology and everything that about this. And the fact that it's a Japanese brand. And they're going to be more than capable to address the issues of having these, you know, the, the uh, cold problem. And there are a bunch of snafus going on, working this out. And I'm sure the Toyota BZ4X problem of charging in the cold is going to be worked out. So keep your head up, folks. There's always something. But the positives and the negatives, hopefully this will help you make your decision upon choosing which EV to get, the Kia or the Toyota. Perhaps you want to work, wait until they work out their snafus before you make your decision. Now, some people are waiting two or three years before making a decision to buy an EV, which is a smart thing to do unless you're going to buy a Tesla. Somebody already rooted in the EV automotive spectrum, that is. You guys, this is A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day.